Hello and welcome to this video. In this video today we are going to be uh, getting started with databases and Node-RED. So basically you can use uh, da uh, databases to store data um, which Node-RED actually uh, gives you. So I'm going to be showing you the installation of uh, MySQL node and then how to simply log CPU temperature data into the database. Okay, so uh, we are going to start by putting an inject node. It's going to be timestamp, and we are going to send this data every three seconds. Next, we take in a function node. And now, in order to make an SQL entry, um, we are going to be uh, putting the string into the message of topic property which mysql node actually expects so we say message dot topic equals and then we can enter an sql statement over here so um, now what i'm actually going to do is in order to log the cpu temperature in raspbian you need to take an exec node which executes a command. So I'm going to be using vcgen cmd. A vcgen cmd is a tool in Raspbian that allows you to uh, monitor your CPU temperature, speed, etc. So the command is vcgen cmd. And in extra input parameters, you need to type measure underscore ten. So this command uh, measures the CPU temperature and then it goes into this function node. So uh, we say message dot payload equals message dot payload dot replace or we can put this in temp. Now we need to format it, uh, format the string that uh, vcgen cmd returns to us. So we only want the integer value. So we remove temp equals and then empty string. And then we again replace the degree Celsius sign. with an empty string. So it basically removes all your um, uh, alphabet, alphabets in the string value, it only returns the integer. So that is stored in the message.temp property and now we need to make our SQL statement. But before that we need to configure the database. Uh, so you need to install php myadmin. So you can type sudo apt get install php myadmin in order to manage the database. So it's going to take some time, so I'm going to skip the video. Okay, so now um, I've installed PHP my admin. There are many tutorials out there that show you how to install PHP my admin. Uh, so you can check those tutorials uh, in Google. So now uh, you need to create, you can create a new database. Now I'm going to call this database name as uh, node red temp. Okay. Now make a note of this name as you'll need it later. Select create. And now I'm going to uh, give the field name. Now I'm going to give the field name as temperature. No, the table name as temperature. And I'm going to give it only one field. I'll call this field temp integer and these aren't required so I say save ok so it's done so the table is temperature and then temp is the um, field name so we are going to test the SQL whether it works or not so I'll go to this section called SQL so here you can enter SQL entries so I'm going to insert into temperature 
and then the field name temp and then the values are going to be uh, let's say 25 just a test value colon semicolon now we say go okay so let's check the browse Okay, anyways, we'll uh, try it in my, my SQL. So you can see that I've already installed the node. So you need to go to the node palette and install the MySQL node. So I'm going to close this. And then there should be a MySQL node here. Yeah. I'm also going to be adding a debug node uh, just to check how the message looks and now let us insert into uh, we call it temperature let's move this insert into temperature uh, the field name is temp values space and now I'm gonna add that property so that's message dot temp plus I'm going to add that here space and I'm gonna be adding Okay, so I think this would work. So let's click done. And the database was um, node red tip. Okay. Username root and my password. So we're gonna add this. I'll just name this DB. Deploy. So this is giving message dot payload. So if I say message dot temp deploy, and there you can see it gives only the number. So if I put message dot topic, um, topic deploy, now you can see the SQL statement. So if you go to browse again, I wonder why Yes, so I didn't see that coming. Okay, so you have the temperature logs here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do drop a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends. And uh, let me know if you had any problems if you tried this project. So thank you once again and bye.